Good morning. This is the first ever, as far as I know, um, Fern Gully video, and I have to say that I am enjoying my time here at school very much. I mean, I miss you guys, but I, I kind of miss school too. I haven't been here in a month. I started off, classes are good. I've only been to one since I wasn't here Monday, and Tuesday my morning class was canceled because of all the ice and stuff. Um, I went to Abnormal Psychology. Um, pretty cool, studying crazy people. Um, it's like kind of the stereotypical psychology, like when you think of psychology, you think of like a guy who's crazy, sitting on a couch, talking to someone who's hopefully a little less crazy, and trying to improve something about that situation. Um, this class was really, really entertaining. I'm really glad, I'm really excited that um, I can continue with it. Um, I hope it's going to be a good semester, I hope there's not too much work either. It has the coolest textbook in the world. Like, seriously. Also, in this course, we are watching movies that display some sort of aspect of abnormal psychology. I thought this was pretty interesting because I've never had a course where movies were integrated so much into the actual course, which brings me to the main topic of this video, which is the social network. I watched it last night. Um, as I've mentioned previously, like our school has free, they, they do free movie nights, and it was amazing. Um, probably not for like some of the reasons that a lot of other people were like, it's like, ooh, these are rich people, they are inspiring geniuses, they are triumphing over all odds. They're kind of jerks. Like, Mark Zuckerberg was portrayed extremely harshly as someone who thinks too logically to actually connect with other human beings, or to necessarily, like, in, in an outward way, like, actually, like, care about other people, um, to a normal extent. Um, it was, it was pretty cool. I would recommend you watching it. Um, but the main thing that I thought was, like, really, really interesting about it is, like, how people have reacted to it. Now, a lot of people say, oh, it's not factual, like, but in my opinion, like, it doesn't really matter whether it's factual or not. Like, consider this. Um, this was brought up in, I think it was The Things They Carried, never, never read the whole thing, but it was something we had to do for English class um, at ACCC. Um, consider this. In Vietnam, um, famous, like, folk tale sort of thing, where... Like, the soldiers would be walking along, and then they a grenade is thrown in. And this this dude's about to get, like, blown up by the grenade. But, like, his buddy jumps on the grenade. He takes the grenade. He, like, dies, obviously. But his buddy is saved. And, like, everything is okay. The guy's a hero. That's awesome. Now, what actually might have happened is the grenade was thrown. It landed. The guy jumps in front of it, but he blows up and the guy next to him does and everyone around them does because that's how grenades generally work and it doesn't make for as good of a story and I would argue that it's not necessarily as true as the fictional story because the fictional story captures the heroism of the guy whereas the other one it's like oh that was worthless everyone died anyway but more the point of the the fiction is to show the truth that's within the actual reality, the actual real story. And that's what like I thought the social network was extremely good at showing because I feel like it showed like an underlying truth, like an emotional kind of relationship that a lot of the characters had towards their project, Facebook, or like to each other, the fact that like this guy's best friend, Mark Zuckerberg's best friend, is suing him for like tons of money because like he stole, uh, blah 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 blah. You'll have to you'll have to see it. But um, the the like because they are like sort of enemies in the film, but you can see like because the acting is so good, you can see like the former friendship and stuff like that. I think that conveys the truth better than if someone were to have actually made a strict documentary that stuck to every single fact about like the creation of Facebook. So overall, 
I think the the social network was amazing and you definitely need to watch it. Um, and I think it's good to think about like fiction and truth and reality and truth and perhaps does reality capture more truth than fiction does? Or do you think that fiction captures more truth than reality? Let me know. Talk to you soon.